This guy got extra vision. This guy got the vision. What the fuck? This guy got the power the useless guy should have. Jesus, this guy. Oh my god. Super eye guy can of course sit through the forest. Oh, here's how he looks. And his voice is like super weird. I like it. Oh, no, he, oh he's like a super little Bishonen guy. What is this? He has a very nice, gentle spirit. I was like, one of the best powers. I think this is the best power so far, definitely. <laughs> hey, this is for you. I love this guy. I was being so natural. It's always like, Yamiro! His whole, his whole character is there to be like, His whole character is there to be frustrated, sexually frustrated. This is the whole character. Are you gonna betray him? Yeah, see, I told you. Sacrifice this guy. I told you. Sacrifice the natural guy. Power's gonna kill him, yeah. Well, <laughs> I love it. I love it. You kill this bastard. You can't even betray her, yeah. Like, what's he doing? Hello everyone, Mondo here. Time to finally watch Glapton Rise. So I'm after a bit here, so I watch episode 8, 9, and 10. Of course, today episode 10 is out, so I'm gonna leave a link below and I'll comment for a time if you, if you only wanna see the latest episode, right? So we can find it quicker. And um, yeah, you will find a Twitch link for the whole uh, full live action. So anyway, let's start immediately here then. But yeah, so it's like a flashback as a kid. So we used to Fury Fusion last episode, right? Yeah, two weeks ago. I mean, yeah, Fury Fusion. He fused with the, the furry and they created the ultimate fur fusion. Pretty weird. Pretty hentai, yes. Pretty hentai! This lady gets it. She's like, oh yeah. Pretty hentai, yeah. I was fury fusioned. Do you remember? Do you recognize me? I'm your real girlfriend. <laughs> Come on, it's like. I read, dreamt about the hentai school. Oh, Claire is back. Oh, best girl, Claire. Is she still naked? A lot of girl. Yeah, is she still naked? Probably. <laughs> I think you knew it. Is she still naked? And of course she is. She's like, hi, oh, yeah, I'm naked over here. It's like, yeah, because it's, uh, of course she is. It's like, it's, uh, it's naked. Of course she's still naked. <laughs> Got her, yeah. <laughs> she jumped up and grabbed the, yeah. It's like, her up eyes just exposed her, definitely. The right character, man. The not the right character. With the whole camera head. <laughs> the power to record. <laughs> the power to be, to be able to record when people you love do it, yeah. Oh, here she looks. And his voice is like super weird, I like it. Oh, no, he, oh he's like a super little Bishonen guy, what is this? He has a very nice, gentle spirit. <laughs> yes, I, not, I, call it, I call it. He likes flower and plants. <laughs> ah, he can even control plants and flowers. And, and he's a big guy. Man, that sounds really OP though, it's like typical plant power. Yeah, this sounds like one of the best powers. I think this is the best power so far, definitely. <laughs> hey, this is for you. I love this guy. Hey, he got some flowers. <laughs> oh, I gotta go. Oh, this is this guy. Ah, yeah, maybe it was also that uh, hentai school. Man, this guy, though, he's like, I can use uh, flower power. He, he seems to actually be really powerful, right? I mean, controlling plant power is always a very powerful power in, in an anime. And I mean, in general, right? In order to show some of that, yeah, like, power to control the earth is like powerful as hell, right? Is it a cute boy? Okay, no, no. might have a pee pee though. I mean, he smelled pee pee, right? He smelled pee pee, right? Yeah. It's like a bleach thing, thing but <laughs> it's like I can smell the. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. It's like I can smell the. See, everyone in the whole city is basically a monster. Like everyone. Oh, this is the girl that was in the convenience store, a combo, yeah. Every damn character in the whole freaking city is like a fighter. So I don't know how they're not fighting in the... She's a total lesbo. <laughs> she likes girls, okay? So your girl got it good earlier. <laughs> like, what? Uh, God damn it. But yeah, but I said that last time. Right? Like, it's not weird how they're not fighting in the other... In the city. Because it's like, even the, in, even the convenient lady, you know, is also a monster. So it's like, who is still a monster? Like, basically, the whole freaking city is a monster, right? Per character. So, it's like, why, why are they not fighting? Why are they not fighting more? Which I am the pilot. <laughs> you see that? I'm inside of him. Wait, that's my boyfriend. Here we go. He's gonna be like, to touch my boy, right? You entered him. She probably remembers everything. <laughs> She's like, I remember the, f I remember Fury Fusion power up. Exactly. <laughs> you think he cheated on you? Pin? 
Yeah, you can't pilot him. He needs me! <laughs> See, this is all this. This is a good part of the anime. It's half the anime. Seeing them being like, this is my boyfriend. I'm the one to enter him. Come on. I'm the one. To... I'm his Futunari girlfriend. Come on. Yeah, they're perfect together. Yin and Yang, right? She's pure evil. He's pure good. Yeah, they're Yin and Yang. They're perfectly balanced. Ooh. The Natural is strong as anime. Double Natural. So now they're back here in the city. But as you saw, the, the, the convenient lady is also a monster. So it's like, who can you trust, right? Anyone in the city is an is a enemy. Oh, here we go. Who's better? Me or that girl? Here we go. Who is better? Who is the better? In who could do you? Is she touching her staff down there? Yeah, of course she is. Who was the better? Who has the better body? She was full naked. I saw it. Yeah, here we go. But she... Claire was way better, though. Because Claire was a better pilot, so you know Claire can really you know smash him hard. Yeah, Claire is the is the best topper. We know that he's the bottom and Claire's top right. Not the girls at bottom too, right? So like two two bottoms doesn't make a right, right? We all know that. Yeah, we need Claire. Right? Claire's the top girl. But the, but yeah, I mean, but honestly, right? Claire's top right. Yeah, she clearly knows. But still, Claire's gonna be jealous right now, right? Because she hasn't been able to fury fusion with him. Uh, she hasn't been able to go to that level of, you know, I don't know, sex? <laughs> but you know what I mean. Darling in France, make a party thing, yeah, kind of that. She hasn't gone to that level, right? So, of course she's jealous. She wants more power too. Yeah, you two can't become one. You, you top and bottom, and we dub double bottom could do it. I, I think it's like a survival thing. Oh, should gonna call him? Is the guy ready with his phone? He's gonna record this thing. The guy with the camera is probably in the in the woods behind her, like looking at. Oh, is she calling the other guy? <laughs> he's probably there ready, right, to record her. Um... The guy is sitting in a jacket. Position. He's clearly a bad guy. Or he, if it was a girl, he would be attractive. Now it's that he's a bad guy. Yeah, like that's. Uh... Yeah. Hmm. That looked really suspicious. Yeah, like why did he? That looks super suspicious. Yeah, they are super suspicious. And given that everyone is basically a monster in the town, right? Except this girl. Like she's like the only girl. She's like the only person that seems to be a human. Oh, like she is a CGI bike. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty interesting. The bike actually was CG. Yeah, the bike was not uh, animated. Yeah, it was not, not drawn. Yeah, it's like now it's drawn. She's really cute though, she's probably gonna die. This girl will surely die, right? She will be like, you know, she's gonna get awed or something, yeah, or eaten alive by the monsters or something. She's clearly... <laughs> he's recording this too! What is wrong with this guy? Why is he out there? Like, yeah, man, oh, he's doing someone else! <laughs> Why is he out there? Why is he out there recording more of his own? Oh, God, I love this guy, he's the, he's the best character, oh, God. His natural escapades. I don't know why the camera guy is so... so isn't his powers completely useless? He, he's, he's a freaking camera! I, my, I can record shit! I can record people having... In, you know... Yeah, woo! What a power! What, what an amazing power to have! Uh, as I said though last time, I hope he has a kind of fart so he can like maybe see through stuff. Like some... If you ever played Puff Dark. I hope he can like, you know, see through like wall shit. He maybe have the power to scan the world or something, right? Like that could be his power. Like a super camera, but... Still though, not a, not the best power, right? It's like, uh, it's pretty mediocre power anyway. And it's also he still uses alone. So even if he can tell, oh, here's some enemy coming at it. Oh, another opai. And this anime is like, oh, he's gonna, gonna walk out without any bra because it's this anime. Oh, traitor! She's like, I wanna betray them or something. If she wants him, she's like, I want him. But I'm like, with my, she's like, why is he walking out like half naked next to this other boy? She's like, I don't care about that. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, why doesn't she, I don't know. She's like, well, we're teammates, so he can see me naked because that's how it is, apparently. <laughs> this is my last enemy. It's so, it's so unapologetic, you know. It is so unapologetically hentai. It's etchy, yeah. It's like, the etchiness is always full on right. Yeah, she's wearing clothes now, but yeah, the edge is always full on, right? I love it. Natural! It's so much natural, that anime! That... I don't believe it! She's mine! <laughs> Here we go, yeah. See, she's like, that's you fused with my boy? Like, I feel 
Robin Elms with Netherrealm. On, it's like Netherrealm sprinkled with more Netherrealm. You know, that's the anime, right? Always like, oh, that's my boy. You fuse with my boy. Here we go. PTSD thing. Someone, yeah, he's all his memories. But of course, yeah, she saw his spirit, right? He, yeah, she has his memories now, to some extent, right, of course. She saw his backstory. Ooh, here we go. You look the same. What did you do, woman? Yeah, what did you do, crazy Andrew girl? Maybe they were dating or something. Yeah, maybe they were together, right? He, he doesn't remember it. Maybe, yeah, she's crying now. Maybe they actually were a couple. Um, yeah, so maybe she remembers that he loves her. They could definitely be right? He, he, he might have... Ooh, you're not a bad person. Here we go. Here we go. He loves you. Here we go. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. He's like, I know he loves you. Yeah, very interesting. Mm, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, she's like, I remember he loves you. Mm -hmm. But say so he forgot that he loves her, right? Something happened here with the whole... Uh... Well, kill a few other people and get powers, right? Ooh, interesting. What if someone like Claire? <laughs> I don't know. Look at Claire in the channel. What if someone already has? Now he's like a massive Oppai. I love it. Oppai Mountain. What is this? Like a huge breasty, breasty mountain arrive. Or it's like, mm, and it's like boobs. <laughs> yeah, it's like, why? Uh, because it's Glaifter. So they're, she doesn't care that her like friends is her naked because, you know, they're friends. You know, it's Glaifter. It's, 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 just leave it, it guys. Yeah. Um, it's very, very glaringly. I did. I did like this guy. I liked the plant guy. <laughs> he's like a nice, nice wholesome uh, flower guy. It's like here's some flowers. <laughs> Where there it is. Yeah. Oh, uh, arigato. <laughs> yeah. This guy is like, hey, flowers. It's like, oh, okay. Um, but this power, I think, for me, fits the best power so far. Um, maybe her power to be the kind of Conan misting is powerful too, though. Because kind of got low, yeah, one piece, you know, it's hard to kill you. you like. I, I'm up on my body, it's like, uh, you know, her body is just, uh, it's entangled, right? So that, that's powerful too. But um, being able to control plants is always a high level power, right? As I mentioned during the reaction, I want to spoil for you, right? But it's a classic narrative character that has that power. He's one of the strongest character ever in narrative, right? In the history of narrative, yeah. So there's like a classic power to be able to, you know, shoot brash and trees and, you know, so on, right? We also have the characters that believe in Black Clover, uh, but I, I will leave it at that, but also another very powerful character, Black Clover, that has a like, plant power and so on. So plant power is always very, very powerful. So I think this is I think this is the strongest power so far. At least from a theoretical standpoint. We haven't really seen him he could like grow a tree, you know, straight up, right? We haven't seen him do like, you know, send branches like poison ivy there, right? like you know, coming in and yeah, but theoretically, the typical plant power could do that. And also, again, like Poison Ivy, he can maybe create some different, you know, poison mists and doku, that's the Japanese, yeah, and so on, right? So, potentially, at least, his power should be very, very powerful. Very, very powerful power. Um, but he, he's kind of going to trees. So, I don't know, maybe he can't use it that, um, maybe he can't use it, I mean, that, uh, you know, powerful, right? And, of course, his friend is clearly a monster with the dog thing, and as he... You can't saw his face, right? So this guy, this guy is clearly evil, he's clearly a monster, like, obviously. <laughs> Very obviously. And then we had the clear Netherrealm scene. I was waiting for this scene, and she's like, I'm his best partner, you can't take my boyfriend. Yeah, like, I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for Netherrealm. Um, but otherwise, it's interesting, because, yeah, his memory is erased, maybe by her, maybe by someone else. There is clearly something that, and he's, she's like, oh, I remember he knows that he loves you. So I think it's interesting that... You know, because she's like a typical Yandere st stalker girl, right? But maybe that's incorrect, actually. Maybe it's yeah, actually it's incorrect, because maybe, given what I heard this episode, uh, his memory is like removed, right? So maybe they actually were dating. And he didn't remember his, you know, the school as the other guy I mentioned, right? So uh, maybe he, she, uh, he actually loved her, and that's what she said. Oh, uh, he loves you, yeah. So given that aspect, maybe she isn't so crazy, because, she, you know, like they actually were a couple. 
something happened to him and he forgot the memory and she still loves him because she remembers the, the back you know she remembers the truth so in that sense i think it could actually redeem her a lot more not just because she's helping them maybe in secret but also because um i want to say it right like like she like she, she like she's just like a crazy stalker and never met him they actually were together maybe right let's let's assume they were together for like a year and they actually, actually dated him and and of course, then he forgot about it. <laughs> so that could be a thing. I think that could be a high possibility. But anyway, let's next episode. <laughs> the camera guy is like, oh, everyone hates me. Um, he definitely recognizes. He's always being so natural. He's always like, Yamero! his whole his whole character is there to be like, his whole character is there to be. Frustrated, sexually frustrated. This is the whole character. His whole character is there to be uh, lying. <laughs> I love it. I don't know what his power does. Can he do anything actually? Like, right? Can he do anything? Yeah. Being all touchy for. <laughs> it's like, come on, stop being such a whiner. Yeah, he's like, uh, his power is so bad. I mean, I should. I mean, obviously, being a scout is good, but like, can he only scout stuff he sees? Like, a person with binoculars is equally good as him. His power is so bad. It's like a peeping Tom power. I really want to be able to look at girls, so I want to be having a camera. I can zoom with my camera. Uh, look at Clara. She's like, get off my. That's my boyfriend. Stop talking to him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this anime is so much cheating in that run. So much. Oh, shit. Hidden girl helps her. And her hands are. That should be. Her hands are suddenly shown with her head for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. And she looks all red in her face there. She's also lying and hides. Maybe she's also into the girls. Maybe he wants to touch her, yeah. Maybe he plays Sonic Adventure 2. It's like, you want to touch my hand, you, yeah. So I was like, oh, you just want to grab me. Oh, I know what you're up to. Can he make food with this shit? I mean, I assume so, right? He can, like. His powers are so powerful. Like, he, can, he can feed the whole neighborhood. He can, I can feed, yeah, look at it. Look at his powers. This guy clearly has the best power. He clearly has the best power. <laughs> I mean, this power is awesome! Oh, watermelon! Beach episode! Here we go. This anime needs a beach episode. <laughs> nah, you're slow. <laughs> Here's a slow boy, yeah. <laughs> Stop trying to get cleavage! <laughs> What fun uh, watermelon? <laughs> I love this guy. He's like, I can make food. This guy has such a good power. Hopefully, he can find with the power. He's probably gonna die though. He's, look at him, he's so innocent, boy. He's gonna die. This poor kid will die definitely. He's so innocent and nice. He, he's dead. He's dead. His death flag is massive. They're all gonna die. They are way too friendly. They're all gonna die. This is a horror anime. You can't survive shit if you're like, Oh, I just wanna sit alone and eat and no, you're gonna die, man! Stop being all friendly! I feel this is gonna be ambush. I feel this is ambush time now here. He's like, it's safe up here. I feel this feels for me, feels like an ambush. I feel this is gonna be something weird now. Ooh, here we go. We're gonna... Why do you wanna have a turf? <laughs> it's like, because I'm because of anime, I guess? But no, but she's like, yeah. Okay. Might be a trap, though, to make people go around. <laughs> it felt like so obvious to that it was a trap. Like, it was like, oh, it's a trap. <laughs> So open area here, surrounded by forest and cliffs and shit. Yeah, it's like, oh. I wish Claire could tell us before. She was like, we need a trap, and I know where we are. It's like, couldn't you tell us that five minutes ago? When we had a watermelon area? I was like, no, 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 we tell it now when we enter and we get owned, right? <laughs> yeah. I wish we had an anime where someone was like, Pff, immediately. It's like, ah, oh, I'm fat. Pff, yeah, but the body shit. <laughs> I wish someone just smack him in the stomach immediately. It's like, why, why? He's pretty open for being attacked, right? This seems pretty useless. Oh, here we go. Hentai time. Yeah, definitely. With the girl with, yeah, and he has like several arms. Oh, shit. Here we go. Now it's, now it's Gleipner. Yeah, here we go. I think she loves her. Yeah, I think she is uh, also into, I think she's the invisible girl is also into girls, right? I think she's in love with the leader. Definitely. Well, they're so, so per I love them. They're so perky. Yeah, like they're gonna, they're, someone's like, yeah, I'm gonna animate the perkiness. Yeah, nice. Oh, this feels very hentai now. We just like to kidnap young girls, maybe. Oh. And expose her beautiful face. And of course, she's like, mmm, now it's anime time! Yeah, of course. Of course, it's like, I have a lot of arms, so I can grab her on, her on her hot stuff. Yeah, like, why not, right? Like, why would I not grab her here? Yeah, it's like, 
Where else do you grab a girl? Come on. Which is kind of weird. Fucking <laughs> Easter's anime! Like, she's holding her like this. Yeah, come on, anime! Come on! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, Glaive is like, mmm, mmm, mmm! Man, this is like, this anime is just all on Netter, right? Yeah, they're gonna see the lead getting uh, violated here in front of them. He's a classic character that when he fights, he's the best fighter ever, but he doesn't like fighting because he's too good at it. Yeah, and then now he's probably incredibly powerful. You could wish he would save his leader before she got a lot of oppa grabs, but whatever. See, I told you last time, I told you last reaction, I was like, he's gonna be the strongest guy to have, really. Yeah, because he's keeping his power, you know, under wrap, he's like controlling his power. You could finally tell now, it was like obvious. And she's like, <laughs> that's, not, that's my boy! Yeah, come on, he's punching immediately, sort of... His power and his like, physical strength? I don't know, he's like fire fisting or something, yeah, ace time. Okay, punching also away. <laughs> and he's like protecting himself with the girl. Yeah, it's like, ooh, and he's like, how oh, do I boys? <laughs> yeah, he's like, come on, man. There we go, finally safe to a leader. But she, I think she loves her, I think she's lesbian too, I think she's into leader, yeah, I think she's into it. And he's probably dead now. It's a bit, a bit muscular, yeah. Pretty big guy. <laughs> See, he to, when he actually gets started, he gets super violent, right? I have to let him kill him, he said. Why would he be like, yeah. I lost my cool. Yeah, if he's a guy, when he actually starts fighting, he, he actually kills him, right? When he starts fighting for real, it's super crazy. This, this is strange writing here. Okay, so now they're here. Well, how did they miss them? They were like running after them during the fight. Man, these guys were super slow. How did they manage to... Oh, here. See, this guy got the extra vision! This guy got the vision! What the fuck? This guy got the power the useless guy should have! Jesus, this guy... Oh my god! Super eye guy can, of course, sit through the forest. Jesus Christ, man. That guy got the power that he should have, right? Yeah, Jesus. He got super eye power. So useless, the guy. So This guy got the power he should have. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they're almost gonna kill him because he's... <laughs> they're very friendly in their team. <laughs> yeah, they're like, hey, I was not... I never liked him anyway. Let's kill him. Yeah, he's always like touching, you know, opies and shit like that. Let's kill him off. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> this is weird. I like, he put off his own teeth, he's like, hey, take my teeth, but he has like short teeth, so I'm thinking he can probably regrow his teeth, right? Oh, something like that. Big. Oh, yeah. No, not the poor, innocent guy. He's still probably alive, though, like, punch monster. A gorilla, I guess, power is yeah. This is a big gorilla, right? Oh, no, not the nice guy, he's gonna die, right? Come on, not kill, kill the poor... No, oh, he's, he's not the poor. Why did it fight? Yeah, thank God. Someone has to freaking help him, right? I guess he can probably take the punch because he's like a super muscular gorilla. He can probably be like, ah, whatever. He's probably fine. He's probably completely fine for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why his gorilla power make him so immortal to being, you know, power fisted, but still, okay. <laughs> he's like, oh, girls! Cute girl! Okay, is he going to shoot now? No, oh, he's just standing there, but he's useless, yeah, of course. I mean, the other guy had the same power, right? So, but better. <laughs> he's just a weaker guy. He's going to cry again, yeah. He's going to be like, YAMERO! <laughs> going to honk it, yeah. So, that's that. It felt very hentai. Yeah, that's the episode. Um, I don't know. I feel this team, they've joined some really weakness, right? They feel so... They feel so... How say it? Oh, man. I'm lost for words, but they feel kind of stupid. Like, they seem that they have never prepared their minds that they have to fight, right? So, furry girl, she's there and doing nothing. Plant guy can at least, like, build a barricade, but also kind of, like, why was he, like, you know, let me off my girl and, you know, send some plant in his face or something, right? She did nothing with furry powers. Um, camera, you know, 
the camera guy, is, is, he is useless though, so he just stood there. Um, and so on, right? They feel they're also ill prepared to battle. They enter this place, a fight, and then the first random guy they engage with is like, oh, I'm gonna or this lady in front of you guys, I'm gonna, like, you know, or her up hard. And they're like, oh no, what is this? What shit? So, yeah, they're really useless. They're really useless. They're really, they're really useless. Um, and I feel it also it's too stupidly how bad they all are. Uh, and the death plague is massive, right? Because they're all a bunch of, like, I don't know, innocent kids, basically. They can't fight. And it was kind of cute, though, how they're all like, no, we're a team, yeah. We're a team now! And they're all, like, eating, and you know, they're hanging out and having, like, a beach episode time. So they're all probably going to die. Um, it definitely feels like uh, Invincible Girl is in love with the lesbian. She's also probably a lesbian, right? Um, she's also probably a Yuri, yeah. Unless you get some ham and so on. So she's... She's also probably into her, and afterward, she's all like, you know, oh no, I touched you, ah oh, yeah, oh, leader Sean, and, and as soon as she was, you know, boob grabbed, she's like, no, don't touch your boobs, it's their mind, yeah, she was, she was the first one to actually react that to the, to the grab and so on, so she's probably in love with her, right, she probably knows that, of course, everyone, they all know that she's into girls, right, and she's probably into her, so, that's probably it, but anyway, yeah, so the next episode we're gonna watch it soon here, um, so what's the thing to happen to the gorilla? I do think the gorilla character is kind of strange, honestly. I mean, not strange per se. He's a gorilla. He's a big gorilla. Yeah, that makes sense, you know. There are different animals. He's not a furry. So I'm not saying that. He, he reminds me definitely of one of the bad guys in Killing Bites. The snake guy with two peepees. And, uh, you know, similarly, he's kind of an R guy, right? So it makes sense. Um, but I, I don't get why he's so powerful for. They might explain it, of course. Episode 10, everything I watch sooner, but yeah, I don't feel I don't I don't get why he would be so powerful. Like, why, why is he so powerful? He's a gorilla, like, <laughs> see what I mean, right? Like, all the other cats, like, he's a big guy with plant powers, so he's not gonna be powerful physically because he got plant powers, right? And then we have the other guys, are kind of, I have some kind of angry power fists, I can hoard, you know, and the stuff like the good guy with the blade arms, the kind of monster with sword arms, you know, and so on, right? This guy, he's a freaking gorilla, he's just a gorilla. What we have seen so far. He has actually, I would argue, argue, one of the lamest powers, right? Yeah, to speak. Yes, gor gorillas are strong, right? Uh, a gorilla can rip you in half, you know, because they have, they have huge upper body strength, right? They have very powerful arms. So obviously, a, a super sized like a King Kong guy is going to be powerful because gorillas are strong, right? And he's powerful. But otherwise, he's just a big animal, right? And with all the cats, have, like, I have blade arms. I can control plants. We have the guy that can. Um, uh, we'll say the two, the two arm things, right? The, the mama and papa only thing. That thing to me is just a lot more powerful than being a gorilla. He has like two demons he can summon. They're bigger than the gorilla and they have like two heads and two arms. You know, that shit, yeah. That looks a lot more powerful than just like, I'm a big gorilla. I'm King Kong, right? He has like a demon King Kong, yeah. Uh, and so on. So this power to me seems, uh, I would say, uh, it's, like, it's like, it's like, yeah, okay, it's, it's, it's powerful, but it's a physically strong gorilla, yeah, sure, but or it wasn't that, though, not very powerful. Um, and I think, what I'm thinking mainly, that's the power, and I guess we're gonna see what happens if so, but I think he definitely will die pretty quickly, because I think this, this, his powers are, um, I would summarize and say that I think his powers are, um, uh, what, what would you say, like, they have low potential, I think, yeah, like, it's like, he's a powerful gorilla, and, and then what, right? He has this power gorilla. Where it's like, I have blade arms. Maybe I can shoot blade arms. Maybe I can grow more blades. Maybe I can speed my blades like that topaz. You know, if you have blade arms, blade body, you can probably, I can imagine that can grow different ways, right? If you have the whole, the guy with the two unis, okay, I can like, maybe my papa mama uni can become two separate unis. And I can sub more unis. So yeah, those powers seem to have, you know, potential to do crazy stuff, right? And of course, Fury Suit can like fuse with you when you can get your powers. So if he fuses with someone else, they will probably combine their powers, right? And get a new power as well. So that's like crazy. But Gorilla is like, oh, he's a physically strong gorilla. And that's it. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? It's a gorilla. Like, yeah, it's like... But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he has more powers, right? Hopefully he can do, I don't know, control monkeys or something. He can grow bigger. Or he can, maybe he can have like four arms. So he might have more powers too. By the way, let's start watching it. So, three, two, one, and go! I really wonder if the leader can do shit though. If she has any power that actually is useful in this situation. In the forest. Oh, is he gonna open him? What? He probably is fine. He seems to be incredibly physically strong, right? 
the gorilla seems to be incredibly physically, he's like probably fine, but I shot him in the stomach and he probably get hurt by it. He seems to be, yeah, he seems to be incredibly physically strong, even though he's a gorilla. Like his muscles are so thick that he's like, whatever. <gasps> Not furry girl! Are Oh, cool, he could like, he could like remove it. Oh, nice. Nice. You two people? Yeah, interesting. He's like, what the hell? But they were very quick of yeah. She was very fast jumping out of his body there. Man, the rest looks really weak though. There is random monsters. Yeah, they look pretty weak. Poor furry girl! And he's out, docked out, of course, yeah. No! Man, this is really bad for them. They're surrounded by a lot of hentai. So yeah, they look, they, they look really bad. This is the beginning of the hentai movie. Yeah, it's really, really bad for them. The gorilla just seems so incredibly strong, and I don't understand why. And I stand by saying that. I'm not saying that, again, gorillas, yeah, pretty strong, but why would he be, why would he be bulletproof? It's like, <laughs> I don't know, he's just a powerful gorilla. He has a lot of abs. He's like, gorilla abs are just like, mm, oh, get that bullet right. I don't know, but he's just a gorilla. I mean, I, I, whatever, but I mean, why is he so powerful? He has x-ray eye power. Why doesn't the freaking guy with the telescope, why can't he x-ray power? Why is he so bad? Standing behind her too, <laughs> like that's right always. Pick him. Pick the guy with the... I love Clarence to a straight up psychopath. He's like, psychopath Clarence like, but you killed those two guys. <laughs> Clarence is so great, yes. Well, can we pick one and you actually punch them? Oh nice, classic, uh, you know, got an ass, ass vision, yeah, that's good. Gleitner for you, gotta have the angle at the bottom, of course. Gotta have the camera angle we want to have it. Man, I feel that Furry Girl really stands in a bad uh, position there. Kind of alone in the... <laughs> he's like, look at her poops! Yeah, you are one of us! And definitely, look at her buttons! Like, definitely! Yeah, she's... That guy is clearly the... If you're gonna pick from a power st strategy, you would clearly pick him. I don't, I don't know if it's a hate him, but his powers are so bad. The other guy has a better power than him. Straight up same power. I can look through the trees, yeah. So why would you not pick him? If you had to pick someone, of course you can, they're good guys, you can do it. But, but I would say, if they pick someone, they pick him, obviously. The team seems so unprepared for this shit. And she can't do anything. She's like, I can get this neck thing on you. And this guy's like, I can grow plants, but they can't fight for me, so... He can't use them in battle, apparently. Right, kind of. I'm gonna pick you. <laughs> I hope you're gonna pick him. I hope, come on, Pikachu! I wanna see Pikachu! You're really brave! The Claire teeth like me! No, Claire teeth like me! No! Oh! He's a natural character! Yeah, <laughs> it's like you're the weakest one! Pick him! Your power is the useless one! Pick him, come on! You're clearly the worst one! No, 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 you catch he, he's, oh, he's there to be ruled! He's there to be, uh, he's the bottom character! He's there to be apps. He's the absolute cuckold bottom character. It will be me! Exactly! Pick him! So I keep saying, he pick him! He's like, four. Either way, I'm dead. Yeah, <laughs> they're gonna pick me! I should have laughed at it, but it felt like it was obvious that he's gonna be picked. I keep thinking he's gonna pick, because he's always the whining guy. No one likes him. They're like, I can pick him. We will assassinate him! I love it! She's like, I can just kill him when he's, when he's sleeping. Probably. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't think she can, but because he's probably too strong for that. <laughs> I like that. It's like, oh, yeah, I would do it easily. It's like, yeah, it's like, you're my kind of girl. What if she enters uh, Switchy and t makes the mask of turn invincible? That would be interesting. Can't she, like, get the few... But they more, can't they like combine those two, but yeah, can't they combine the uh, furry mascot guy with, you know, hide the furry powers. See? Come on, okay, come on, come on, can't she jump, I hope I'm right here, I hope she's gonna jump into him right, and they can like, turn into a mascot that's invisible. He's probably gonna offer himself. He's the nicest guy ever, this guy is so nice. This guy really has death flag, which is a nice guy, so he's gonna die definitely, uh, eventually. He was offered himself probably. He's just a nice guy, he can't, he can't do it. 
Claire's lying, definitely. She's like, oh yeah, I would never like back back to the bus scene. Like, like why? I mean, I love, I love you, no, I love you, Gleb. It's like he's the next TV Claire. Look at her ass again. <laughs> why is it always like in her very, very, you know, firm, uh, very firm buttocks every damn time? Here we go. Claire is like, oh, maybe you can like. Ah, some kind of poison plant, something? He knows what it is, right? Only guy. Here we go. Claire is like, I'm prepared. <laughs> plant boy! Oh, I love Claire! She's like, I'm prepared, boy! I want to let you grow some evil uh, plants. Uh, no, this shit is pretty good. <laughs> oh, I love it. Claire is like, grow a lot of these plants. It's gonna do something shit. This is probably some kind of docu docu, right? But don't smell it. <laughs> She's so evil, yeah. She's like, I have prepared my evil plan, honey. Let's go, baby. Uh, and he's like, they're all gonna die. They probably should stay there. I feel the plants are poisonous, right? It has to be something like this plants makes you die if you smell them or something, right? It has to be something like that. Come on. He's like, I just killed a lot of people here. His powers are so powerful. He's like, I prepared this bit for you. I prepared that plan for you. Yes, she is crazy. And he's always hiding. Can't this offer this guy? <laughs> and he's hiding in this. As always, he's there hiding in the flash. Being like, oh, she's crazy. This bitch is crazy. He's always there, you know. He's always there staring at shit. So, yeah. Yes, exactly. It's psychopath. It's based on logic. Yeah. No. No sympathy on the logic, right? That's why she's the best girl. Yeah. My kind of girl. But yeah, I love this thing. You stay out of it, honey. I'm just gonna kill them myself. And the other side is coming on face now. Sorry. Claire is good because she can maximize everyone's power. She's like, what if you do this thing with your power? That would be good. Are oh, you gonna betray them? Yeah. See, I told you. Sacrifice this guy. I told you. Sacrifice the natural guy. And he's really into her, though, for a girl. But yeah, he's gonna betray them, so I mean... Hopefully Claire... See, I told you guys, sacrifice this guy immediately. They should have sacrificed him immediately. That also would be a good strategy, he's off for his guy, he's a douchebag. He's like, what did you grow back there? Uh, super poisonous plant, if you fire them up. It's kind of special plant, eh? No, it grows everywhere. <laughs> it's like, what? No, it grows all and everything in the whole place. But, but if you burn it, right? If you burn it, yeah. <laughs> it's a super common poison, <laughs> yeah. It's also the dust spot. Yeah, it's a small dust spot. Like the... But I love how he, be he betrayed his friends. And just... For what reason? Why can't they just let them die instead? I don't know why he's like, if they're gonna die, they're gonna die, right? Oh, he's gonna betray him. He's, her power's gonna kill him, yeah. Well, <laughs> I love it, I love it! You kill this bastard! You can't even betray her, yeah. Like, what's he doing? I'm him. I love it. He couldn't handle the netter. He couldn't handle... He could not handle the netter. He, he couldn't handle it. But how stupid is that? He, like, if, if he just let them die by the poison, you know, he, he's, he's gonna survive, right? So he betrayed them, so he died by her power, and he saved the bad guy. It's just so stupid. Man, that guy deserves to die. That guy deserves to fall under. Her. And those two girls aren't very. He's gonna carry them. He's gonna be like my harem. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> he's like, yeah, girls, I got you. Yeah, okay, nice. Oh, they got the whole. I mean, he even told them that. The guy arrived and told them that. I don't know why he's wondering are they poisonous? Are they doku doku? Or they. You, yeah, he told us that like 10 minutes ago. Like, you, you, like what was. What am I? I actually kind of sorry for him, like, even though they were complete perfs and so on. Yeah, they're, they're kind of like. But I mean, they work murderers, so. You know, if you play the game right, if you play the game of Battle Royale, you're gonna take the bullet, right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Then they would be dying. Yeah, yeah, I feel you could have avoided the smoke way better. They could have worked around it. Even they were like, let's go straight into the fire. They felt like a stupid strategy. 
Yeah, she's like, <laughs> I bet he's like, knock out my guy. He's an idiot. He cursed about friends. <laughs> what a fool. <laughs> he cares about friendship. That guy is going to fall for our empty friendship plan. Yeah, what a moron. And no one comments on, oh, we lost, uh, you know, Netteray guy. We lost him. Hopefully. <laughs> you know it's something to scare me. It's like, I finally realized you are a crazy psychopath. Yeah, it's like, at first I could trust you, but no, no, I know you're an insane murderer. So okay, I guess you all survived that. <laughs> yeah, I can't be the only guy. They're like, they're not even talking about him. They're like, that's how little they like. That's how little they care about him. I keep saying it. Guys, they could be like, you know, oh, that guy died. That's too bad, right? Yeah, or he died. He deserved it. Whatever. They don't, they care so little for him. They're not even mentioning him. They're like, we all survived that shit. <laughs> yeah, they're like, they're not, they don't even forgot he existed. You know, like they're like, what happened to this guy? They're not even talking about him. They're like, yeah, we all survived. Great. Let's move on. Let's move on. I love it so much. I love it. He's like, yeah, it's like, whatever is that. But I mean, I kept saying, right? I kept saying that if they're going to pick anyone, they will clearly pick this guy. And I kept saying that I would pick immediately. And then we see Claire, she's like, yeah, let's let's pick him. <laughs> so I love it, I love it. And then he betrays them anyway, so he picked himself. What a moron. But man, his action was so stupid though. Horror trope stupid, right? He uh, he goes to the bad guys and warns them. That endangers himself for no reason. He could easily just let the bad guys die, right? And then he would, you know, be fine. So that was really stupid of him. He could just kept staying with the good guys, right? Um arguably good guys, but you know what I mean? So then he could have done that. And um, like then what's the point of betraying his leader? Because if he betrays her, he dies anyway, right? So his actions were like double stupid because it's like I'm gonna go betray them and then I get killed by her, you know, power of neck power. And by betraying them I might make the bad guy survive the poison fire. And by doing that I also probably die. So it's it's, it's really stupid. Yeah his actions like double stupid he deserved to die definitely, both in a you know Judas position and from like a strategic aspect, it's stupid. Stupid in two regards, right? So a very, very stupid action from him. And um, it really didn't pay off, right? He got he gotta pay with his life there. Um, it really didn't pay off. But yeah, I like how Claire, you know, she's she's maximizing the potential of the of the other characters. Yeah, Claire is like, oh, but you know, uh, uh, flower powers, uh, you know, we can uh, maybe do this shit, yeah. Um, I love this scene though, it's a very beautiful episode where she's like, Yay, well, Switchy, I have a lot of flowers, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah. And she's trying to play it off as, you know, oh, I'm so nice. And <laughs> she's trying to play it off as, I'm this nice girl, you know, with, this, uh, with friendship and uh, I'm not evil at all, yeah. She's trying to play it off as, uh, hey honey, uh, we just make some plans, uh, wanna, wanna be friends? <laughs> wanna hug me? Yeah, she's just... Playing it off as, you know, I'm just a nice girl with zero alternative motives doing this shit. <laughs> just, oh man, I love her. I love her. She's awesome. Uh, but yeah, I mean, she's textbook psychopath. You know, she has only logical thinking. For her, it's all about reasoning. Uh, you know, it's all about, re yeah, it's all about reasoning and how to win, right? She's a gamer, yeah. She's like, how can I win this game? This is a bad image. Like, yeah, how can I, how can I win the game? Right? How can I win the game <laughs> by killing everyone with the flowers? Yeah. Um, the grill team was pretty badass though. When he, uh, when he carried his friends there. I kind of feel sorry for them a little bit. Yeah, for the you know, poor loser guys. But I mean, if they weren't so bad, um, I think a problem with it, with him, right? A problem with the scene. Uh, for his characterization, it's a pretty good scene. Of he's like screaming at them, carrying his friends there. Yeah, so you, you do feel he actually cared about his friends. Uh, I think a problem with him, though, as a character, almost the right thing with him as a character, is that he's introduced as the leader of this, like, you know, gang or people, right? Yeah, they're like going around, getting girls, cutting their head off, you know, smashing them too hard or so on. He can't do so that, but at the same time, he, he does care and he has like a somewhat sad, sad life and so on. And a problem with the main is that we are more introduced to his group by the last episode with the caterpillar, you know, um, you know, caterpillar boob guy. Yeah, that is a guy that's kind of setting the tone that they are bad guys. 
but then the leader is he's crazy strong or someone but it's actually that bad like that guy was so it's kind of like if you saw more of gorilla guy instead of the caterpillar opai grabber guy we might actually feel feel more sympathy right for him um, because he isn't doesn't seem to be that super evil actually in the end right like he's still evil but like not like super crazy evil. it's more like you know evil with like some delinquent power yeah it's like oh i didn't want to be overly evil but i'm kind of evil because i have the powers to be so it's kind of like he's kind of hard to read i guess but anyway he's dead probably it doesn't really matter so much i feel yeah i don't feel it matters so much it's kind of a hindrance it's more showing up how bad it's clear and also killing off that red guy <laughs> Kill, killing off camera guy and i think it's immediately when they have the big eye guy and his powers are better they have a big eye guy that can see through forest you're like Man, camera netterer, man, you're so useless. You're so useless. So here's a better guy for you. That was stupid though, that the eye guy didn't actually look at them. The eye was like, oh, well, I, I, I stopped looking at them for a, a few moments. It's like, why? <laughs> why would you do that? It's like, wasn't his job to do that? He was crap at his job, right? Um, but yeah, they are probably all dead now. That's why he, he didn't show it. But I think we know the whole blind guy, he might appear again though, right? Because he felt like he could maybe survive that. He didn't see his powers yet. The rest of them looked like crazy monsters, right? But he looked very specific. The guy with the katana and like the blindfold. So he, he might survive, right? So we can find him. He, he might survive. I feel he could, maybe he can jump or something. I feel he has the power to maybe like, you know, return because he's... Uh, here he is. Um, there we go. I feel he can probably survive this. He, I feel he is too much shown in, in, in these episodes. He's too much prominent. Uh, compared to the other monsters, uh, so he might reappear, right? Of course, the other people might die, but he might reappear as a kind of revenge loner or whatever, right? I think that could be a thing, um, because he's very specific. The other ones are just kind of crazy monster looking. He's like the whole bandana over your eyes and like a sword, and he's, he's very, very specific. So I think he, he, he probably might reappear, right? Um, but anyway, that's the Gleipner, right? Gleipner episode. Uh, 8, 9, 10, subscribe, hit the like button tomorrow, I will hopefully do a similar video with the Fruit Basket, right, so it will also be a longer video than with 3, 4 episodes of Fruit Basket, so, and then we should be back on track, so of course on uh, uh, Wednesday to the God, I think I will do a Black Lord thing on Tuesday, so you know, subscribe, hit the like button, and have a great day.